What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 8 of our Penn State Return to Primetime Dynasty. Uh, this week, we are taking on the number one team in the nation, Ohio State Buckeyes. They are the number one offense in the way of points in the land. They have some good recruits coming in. Their quarterback is Braxton Miller in real life. It's uh, it's uh, Dane Neal in this game as uh, everybody's looking ready to get going in this game. Uh, we have no injuries, but their left tackle is out, which we want to possibly take advantage of that. So it's really cold. It looks like uh, in the horseshoe tonight, uh, probably in prime time uh, for this game. We're wearing our all-white uniforms as usual. Of course we do. That's classic a Penn State right there. Take a look at the standings. They are ahead of us now uh, prior to last week when they weren't. Um, so whoever wins this basically I believe will take uh, the um, basically take the leader's standings unless something else happens uh, throughout the, the, the season. So um, hopefully we come away with a win today and shock the number one team in the nation. But without further ado, let's focus on the entrance video. So without further ado, let's get on with it. First and 10 for Penn State. Jacobs goes under center. He's looking to run the ball with Roberts. Roberts will get the ball. He'll bounce the left-hand side, but gets stopped. Only a two-yard gain right there as we're looking to possibly run some hurry-up offense on this Ohio State defense. He's actually pretty good on the ground, so we need to get going fast and quick and then make sure we take advantage of any of the mismatches, mismatches that we have. So second and eight, Jacobs will go under center. He will drop out of pass. He's going to fire right-hand side on the screenplay to Roberts. Roberts will get nothing and actually will lose four yards. That will bring up third and 12 for the Nittany Lions. Already in a hole uh, starting off basically on their uh, nine-yard line. Going to fake the hand off to Roberts. Jacobs is going to look. He's going to fire right-hand side. He's got Morris, but Morris will be one yard short. He's actually going to be inches. Four of the inches. We're going to go for it. And uh, Jacobs is going to hand the ball off to Roberts. He's stuck behind the line. Turnover on downs. They will get the ball at the 17 yard line, 18 yard line. So, first and 10, Neil, shotgun formation. He's going to draw back to pass. He's going to look and look. He's going to be sacked on the play by Setzer. Uh, Day Neal already goes down with the sack. So, defense already holding up pretty good uh, to start this game. Second and 14 now, shotgun formation for Neil. And uh, he will go ahead and draw back to pass. He's going to look and he's going to actually scramble out to his right hand side. And Dobbs there to make a play and he will get the tackle, but not before Neil gets five yards. So, third and nine running, no huddle now by Ohio State. Uh, Neil is looking to possibly throw the football again. He will. He dropped his pass. He's going to look. He's going to be sacked on the play again, this time by Fowler. Craig Fowler getting the job done. So they will kick a field goal. So Ohio State will take an early 3 nothing lead over the Penn State Nittany Lions. And uh, Jacobs will send a man in motion on the next play from scrimmage for the Nittany Lions. Roberts will go up the gut. And uh, he will finally be tackled, but not before he gets six yards on the play. So now it will be third and two uh, after a uh, two-yard gain. Roberts will drive it past he's going to lose and fire deep down the field. He's going to be intercepted by Fuller, the safety coming over from the right hand side. And uh, he actually left hand side. And he will go over there and pick it off. So we already turned the ball over basically twice. So they will probably try to take advantage of this. First and 10 out of the shotgun. Neal will fake the handoff to Taylor. He's going to fire deep down the field. He's got his man Little. And Little makes a great play on the right hand side of the field. And so now it'll be first and 10 uh, after that nice 26 yard completion. Neil will draw that pass. He's going to look. He's going to scramble himself, and he's going to shred a tackler. And he will actually pick up nine yards right there. So that will be uh, a nice place. After they pick up the first down, it will be first and ten. Neil will hand off to Taylor, and Taylor will, will shred a tackler, but we will stop before he gets uh, any more. He only got two yards. So now empty back set, five wide for Neil. He will drop back to pass. He's going to look. He's going to fire. He's going to fire right inside. He's going to find Little, and Little will get a nice play about five on the play. So that will bring up third and nine. For the uh, Ohio State Buckeyes, as Neil will drop it, has again, he will look. He's going to fire right-hand side. He's got Estes. And Estes will shut off a tackler, and he will get the first down. So a nice five-yard pickup by the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Number one team in the nation showing some strength already on offense. As Neil will drop it to pass, he's going to look. Actually going to fire. Actually going to hand the ball off to a Taylor on a nice drop play. He even fooled the commentator on that one. So now it'll be third and one for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Trying to get into the end zone, make it a 10-point game. Neil will hand off to Taylor, and Taylor will get the first down. So that will be up first and goal for the Ohio State Buckeyes as they run no huddle. 
And Neal is looking to capitalize. He's going to hand the ball off to Taylor again. Taylor going to end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. They take a 10 nothing lead over the number five team in the nation. And number one already showing uh, what they've got early. And we have not done anything as Jacobs will hand the ball off on first down to Roberts. Roberts will bounce out to the right hand side and go up the gut. Finally, cross the 50 for a seven yard pickup. But after an incomplete pass, it'll be third and three for the Nittany Lions. As uh, Jacobs will get the ball again, he will be stuck behind the line, fourth and four. We'll have to punt the ball away. So we haven't done anything on our first three possessions of the game. Two turnovers and a punt. That's not good against a good team like Ohio State. Empty back set, and he will drop it. He's going to fire right-hand side. He has Walker, and Walker will have the first down. So now they're going to run hurry-up offense, first and ten for the Ohio State Buckeyes. As Neal will drop out of pass, he's going to fake the handoff to himself. He's going to fire right inside. He's going to be picked off by Barnes, and Barnes has an interception. We get a turnover now for us. That will set up our offense on the 38-yard line. Great play by Barnes to get that interception. First and 10, we're going to hand off the, hand off the ball to Roberts. He stumbles, but he collects himself and gets five yards on that play. So now third and five after a zero-yard rush on the play. Jacobs will fake the handoff to Roberts. He's going to look and look. And look, he's going to fire deep in the middle of his field. He's got Matt Dorch. And Dorch is down close to the 11-yard line. So first and 10 on the 11 for Nittany Lions. Moving the ball pretty good after that, uh, after that uh, interception as Roberts will get the ball. And Roberts will get down about the 2-yard line. Second and 1 coming up. So we can, we can still get the first down and have five more plays, basically, or four more plays. So Jacobs will hand the ball to Roberts. And Roberts will actually get the first down, but not the touchdown. So that'll bring up second and goal. After a zero-yard rush, after being stopped on the goal line, Jacobs will hand the ball to A.J. Randall, who's in the game for the first time, and he will bounce up the right-hand side and get the touchdown. We cut the lead to three as Penn State punches it in for a great score. Great play by A.J. Randall to get around his uh, offensive line without falling down on the ground. So a good play by us. Uh, great play and great concentration after that, in, after that in, uh, interception to get the play. As Neil will keep himself on first down, he will scramble and he will get a good pick of about 12 on the play. Second and 10 now coming up for the uh, Ohio State Buckeyes as uh, Neil threw an incompletion on first down. He will send a man in motion. He will keep it himself on an option play and he will not go anywhere. Only will get nine on that play. So third and nine coming up uh, early on this, in this drive for Ohio State as Neil will drop out a pass. He's going to look, fire deep right-hand side of the field. He's got Little again. Vince Little is having a game. 20-yard reception on that play. It's after a three-yard uh, pass play out of bounds. Uh, actually, a pass play, and then they took a timeout. Neil will drop out a pass. He's going to look. He's going to fire deep in the middle. He's got his man, Walker. And Walker has a big play again. 27-yard reception on that play. So now after an incomplete pass, it'll be second and 10. Actually, sorry, after another timeout, it'll be uh, second and 10 as Neil hands off to Taylor. And Taylor will only get five yards on that play. Third and five coming up. Can defense stop him and force them uh, to uh, possibly kick a field goal here? As Neil fire left hand side, he has his man Leach. Leach will make caps hit the ground. He will get the touchdown after forcing his way in. 11 yard touchdown reception for Michael Leach. As Ohio State will look to make it a 10 point game once again. Kick is up and it is good. So they lead by 10 with a minute 26 left in the game. Second and 10 after a zero yard rush. Jacobs is going to drop out a pass. He's going to fire. Right hand side, he's got Bill Morris. And Morris has the first down. Nice 16 yard reception. So first and 10 coming up for the Nittany Lions. Jacobs, shotgun formation with Roberts in the backfield with him. He will drop by passing way to look. Fire right hand side for Morris. Again, he's got his man. And Morris has a nice 18 yard reception on that play. So we're moving the ball pretty effectively. We take a timeout. First and 10 as Jacobs will fake the handoff to Roberts. He's going to look. He's going to be sacked on the play for negative 22 yards. Second and 22 coming up. Uh, I was trying to throw it to X, and it didn't really work out too well. So now second and 22. 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Can we put some points on the board uh, to make it only a three-point game again? Jacobs will drop ahead. He's going to fire deep down the field. He's got his man Bowen. It's caught inside the 16-yard line. So first and 10 running hurry-up offense. Jacobs. We'll draw back to pass. He's going to fire right-hand side on the screenplay for Roberts. Roberts has a nice blocking up field, and he will get the first down out to about the five-yard line. They'll probably spot about the six. They do. It's about five and a half. So now first and goal. Jacobs drops back to pass. Shotgun from his fire right-hand side. He's got his man Herman Daniel. Herman Daniel has a six-yard TD reception, uh, and will cut the lead to seven. Uh, cut the lead to three. So now ensuing kickoff. Doyle will receive it in the end zone. Two yards back, he'll make a man miss, and he's broken free. He'll push a man aside, and he's gone. Doyle across the 30 to the 20 to the 10. Touchdown, Ohio State. That was heartbreaking for us right there. After doing that amazing drive and then to give that up on the next play, they will go up by 
uh, by 10. And with five seconds left in the first half, we will try to do something uh, before we get the ball back to Ohio State in the second half in the third quarter. And Jacobs will fire deep, and it will be incomplete to Bowen. So we will be down by 10 going into halftime. And so now we're in prime position to win this ball game in the second half. Ohio State will run with the pistol offense, and uh, they'll hand the ball off to Taylor, and he will only get one yard. So defense is coming out strong already. Uh, as Neil will hand the ball to Taylor again, and Taylor will only get uh, five yards on that play. So now third and four, Neil, shot, uh, actually in pistol formation, will hand the ball off. Well, he'll fake the handoff to Taylor, and he'll go left-hand side, and he will get the first down on eight-yard rush right there. So first and ten running, no huddle again. They are running as ragged, and our defense is going to start getting tired. Neil will hand off to Taylor again, and he will get the first down. What a big play. 12-yard rush right there. First and 10, up by 10. And uh, we're looking to bring some heat as uh, he'll, he'll set up in shotgun formation. We'll make a man go, and he'll go up to the left-hand side. Neil is broken free down the left-hand side of the field, and he's going to be pushed out about the 37-yard line. So now first and 10 for Ohio State as he is two back set with him in shotgun. He'll run the uh, option again. He'll be tackled for a loss there. A good play and good penetration by Fowler to make it a negative one-yard loss. So second and 11 coming up for Ohio State. As Neal will drop out of passing with you, look and look and look. He's going to fire over the middle. He's going to find Stanley. And Stanley has the first down and more. That was blown coverage on my part. I rushed with Dobb, and I should have kept, uh, kept it true. So now it'll be second and 11 after another negative one-yard rush. As Neal will hand off to Stanley. And Donald Cooper lays the lumber on him, and it will be a fumble. And I picked up a Fowler, and the big man will rumble and jumble, and he'll be finally tackled about the 40, 39 yard line. So now Fowler gave us a prime position to possibly put some more points on the board and make it a three point game again, hopefully, or maybe even a two with a two point conversion. First play, Jacobs will fan, take the hand off to Roberts. He'll fire right hand side. He's got Morris deep down the field for a nice about 26 yard pickup on that play. So now, be first and 10, Jacobs will hand the ball off to Roberts. And Roberts will go left-hand side, and Roberts will get seven yards. So now third and three after an incomplete pass by the Nittany Lions. Jacobs will go under center, fake the hand out to Roberts again, run some nice play action. Roberts will look, he's got fire deep over the middle of the field. He's got Matt Dorch. Dorch is down inside the 12-yard line. 17-yard pickup right there for Matt Dorch, doing some work already. He's had two big receptions this game. As it'll be first and 10, Jacobs is going to hand the ball off to Roberts. Roberts is going to go left-hand side, and Roberts will rumble and jumble and get 10 yards, but they won't give him the first down. Runs to no huddle, giving him a taste of their own medicine. Roberts is going to hand the ball off to Roberts. Jacobs is going to hand the ball to Roberts, and Roberts will get in for the touchdown. We cut the lead to three. We'll get another look at this. Actually, we'll take a look at Roberts right here, doing some work. So we cut the lead to three. So uh, we're not going away in this game. We are not going away at all. Ohio State is still in the lead by three with 215 left in the third quarter. As Neil sends a man in motion, he will hand the ball to Taylor, and Taylor will make a man miss in the backfield, but we'll get five nonetheless. So second and five coming up for Ohio State. As Neil is looking to hand off to Taylor again, he's going to fake. He's going to fire right hand side. So Little again. Vince Little is having a game today. 17-yard pickup on that one. First and 10 coming up for the Buckeyes. As Neil will fake the handoff, and he'll be stuffed behind the line. And great play by Medlock to get Neil behind the line for that five-yard loss. So second and 15 now for the Ohio State Buckeyes as Neil sets up a shotgun formation. Fire left-hand side on a nice screen with the Richards. And Carlos Richards will only get seven on the play. So they will, they're going to kick the, they're going to go ahead and punt the ball fourth and eight. And uh, it will be actually direct snatch to Leach. And Leach will go nowhere. So we get the ball at the 45-yard line after the turnover on downs. Great play right there. By our defense to stay true and get the running back. I don't know why they're trying to fake it. I guess just try to catch us off guard. But Jacobs will go ahead and get the ball. A nice draw play right here. And he will get six yards on first down. So now after two complete passes, it'll be fourth and four. We're going to go for it once again. And Jacobs is going to get the ball to Roberts. And Roberts will be stuffed, but he only gets three yards. And he needed four. So it'll be another turnover on downs for the Nittany Lions. But Ohio State doesn't do anything. And we'll have to punt the ball away for real this time. So now it'll be first and 10 for the Nittany Lions. Jacobs will drop by the passing on to fire. Deep in the middle, he's got his man Daniel. Herman Daniel has a beautiful 19-yard reception on the play. First and 10 coming up for the Nittany Lions. As uh, Jacobs will go under center. He's looking to run some play action with Roberts. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to fire right-hand side. He's got Morris. And Morris has a first down. Nice 14-yard reception. Morris is having a good game. Being nice and clutch for us today. So first and 10 for 
the Nittany Lions. Jacobs will hand the ball off to Roberts. Roberts will cut in outside and go back up inside. He will get a nice pick of about 12 on the play. First and 10 coming up for the Nittany Lions inside the red zone for only the third, for only the fourth time today as Jacobs will drop it a pass, looking to run screenplay. He will fire a screenplay to Roberts. Roberts will try to make a man miss, but he will fail, but only get four yards on that play. So after all that, it only didn't really go for that much, but uh, second and six shotgun formation. Jacobs will look over the middle. He's going to fire left-hand side. He's got Herman Daniel, and Daniel will get three on the play. So third and three coming up for the Nittany Lions. We have got the score here to possibly put this game uh, under wraps and hopefully make our defense do some work. So now Roberts will get the ball and get the first down. First and goal for the Nittany Lions. Can they take advantage, score big here, and go up on the number one team in the nation? As Randall will get the ball, and Randall will fall in the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. They take the lead over the number one team in the nation. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Oh, my goodness. We're lead by three right now as we see another replay. He falls in. A.J. Randall. He's got his second touchdown of the day as we take a look, as we take our four-point lead. We have more offensive yards than they do. They have not scored since the first half. They have choked right now. So now, 254. Can they come back? And possibly win this ball game. Number one team in the nation will never quit. Hand off to Taylor. He has loads of space. He's broken free. He's across the 50. He'll be finally brought down about the 41 yard line. I my heart literally dropped whenever that started happening. I was like, oh my gosh, no. Pistol formation. No huddle. As Neil will send a man in motion, he will hand off to Taylor again. Taylor go right hand side. He's not gonna go anywhere on that play. No yard gain on that play. So running no huddle again, pistol formation as Neil will go ahead and hand, hand off to Taylor. And Taylor will only get one. So third and nine coming up for Ohio State. As uh, Neil will send a man ocean again. Are they going to run the third straight play? But no, he will He will drop out. He's going to look. And look, he's going to fire deep down the field. It's going to be bad away by Caps. So they will go ahead and punt the ball, hoping that their defense can make a stop. And they're going to try to pin us deep. Fourth and nine. And here we go. Kick is up, and it will drop down about the three-yard line. So we will get the ball at the three-and-a-half-yard line, and uh, we got to get ourselves out of the end zone. So here we go. Hand off to Roberts. He's going to go right the gut, and he gets 12 on the play. What a game by Roberts. They will burn their first timeout. First and 10. They may be shooting themselves in the foot later on by calling that call. on the game. that point, as Roberts gets the ball again, he will get 10. First down again, they will burn their second timeout. He actually got 11 on that play. 149 left, first and 10. If we get another first down, the game is basically over. Roberts will get the ball, and he will get the first down. They'll take their last time out of the game. So 146 less left unless anything bad happens. We have got this game in the bag. Roberts will get the ball again. He has tons of space. Defense is breaking down. They must be tired at this point. First and 10 for the Nittany Lions, who are about to pull off one of the biggest upsets uh, this year uh, for this team as they get as Roberts gets seven on that play. So second and three now with 116 left in the fourth quarter. Jacobs gonna hand the ball off to Roberts again on power O. And he'll break out to the right hand side. He has the first down, he'll get knocked out of bounds, which is not what we wanted. But you know, after we run a play for negative yards, negative one yards with Randall in, be second and eleven, forty seven seconds left. Roberts will hand off to Randall. Randall will break out to the left hand side and we'll get a nice seven yard pickup right there. Third and five coming up for the Nittany Lions. If they get this first down, you can pretty much chalk it up. Uh for definitely at this point. So now Randall will get the first down and more. Randall gets down to about the 11-yard uh, line, 18-yard rush right there. And we will go ahead and kneel the ball as the Penn State Nittany Lions have knocked off the number one team in the nation, Ohio State, in a come-from-behind victory from 10 down. This place is silent. Even the wind stopped uh, and was just like, oh, my gosh, the horseshoe will never be the same as we get a nice overtop view of Randall's touchdown. He just goes in the end zone, keeps those feet moving as the Penn State fans are happy and the Ohio State fans cannot believe it at all. And uh, it will end up that Bill Moore. Actually, uh, Jake Roberts uh, will get uh, the um, – uh, Jake Roberts. Uh, Roberts will get the uh, – He'll get the player of the game uh, with his rushing performance. He has like 126 yards in this game. But this is like one of the primary touchdowns, and I just wanted to show it. To, uh, Herman Daniel touchdown was big, and then this was the play of the game. Randall's touchdown was huge, getting in the end zone, giving us the four-point lead. So coming off that number one victory over Ohio State, we actually take their spot as the number one team in the country. That's right. Penn State is now the number one team in the country. And we will turn our attention to the Illini of Illinois. 
as we can see how we match up against them. They're actually pretty good on passing offense, and their total offense is actually extremely good. But they do have a better uh, offensive rating. I believe they're like an 86 overall. But Herb Street's picking us as he has all season pretty much. He even picked us in the Ohio State game, so he must feel like a genius at this point. As uh, we're number one, we were number five last week. Uh, so that's big for us as their corner, actually, as their center is out for the entire season, uh, which is big. So um, as we can see, uh, their last, uh, the last couple games have been as good. But we've won seven straight. Uh, definitely, definitely a good, uh, good game against Ohio State. I'm so proud of our guys. But uh, next time, guys, we will turn our attention to the line eye of Illinois, and uh, we will play that game. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.